Welcome to Class Summit. So I'm going to be using this to show us how to cut the 270 degree play that we used on the gown because I mistakenly deleted the first video that I made. Okay, so this is the fabric I'll be using. I'll put it into two this way. All right, I'll put it into two. Now, before you fold this, you need to do some calculations. So depending on where you're going to be adding the play, mine was on the knee. And I want to assume that my knee is 20, even though that was not 20, it was around 37. But because I'm using a smaller fabric, I'll make it 20. But then, because I used Ankara, it was not enough to get um, everything I need at once. Okay, so the length of the Ankara, that depends on the length of what you're working with. The length of the play was 30 or 33, okay? So, and the Ankara is 45 inches. So, it will not be enough when you fold your Ankara into two. You will not be able to get all the length at once. So, what I did was to cut from the other end and extend this part. I folded it into two. So, before folding, you can add um, some inches around here, depending on the length that is left. After I did this after folding and then determined the length that is left. So I cut and extend on these two parts, okay, so that it will be long enough. So like I said, my knee measurements or round knee measurements, are, um, assuming it is 20, okay, then I will get the length which is 30. Now for the 20, this is 270 degree play. I'm going to be dividing it into three, even though I'm going to fold into four first. Okay, I'm going to be dividing it into three, and that will be 20 divided by three. But when folding it, I'm going to fold into four first. So this is what we're going to do. If you're adding this to your waistline, you're going to add your zipper allowance. So now that I fold that into two, I'm going to fold into two like this again. Okay, I'll fold it. I just want to keep it. At this point, since I will not be using this for anything, let me not just waste all of them at the same time. So what I said is that the length of what I made was 30 inches. Now to the 30 inches, I added 3 inches extra because the person is going to be wearing a high heel, making it 33 inches. Okay, then plus 1 inch hemming um, for folding the, the, the hemming, the lower parts. Okay, for hemming, whichever way you call it. All right, so that should be around 34. Now it depends on you, okay? So what I will do now is, as I put this this way, I'm going to take my measurements. So like I said, three um, 20 divided by three, that will give me around 6.6 .6 inches, right? 6.6. .6 so the 6.6, .6, I'm going to add it to the length of my measurements, which will, um, approximately we have 40. So when you add yours, you can get whatever measurements that it gives you. And I'll measure it from the tip here. I'll measure it from the tip. I hope you can see it. I'll measure it from the tip here, wherever it stops. And I'll take it round. I'll mark it right round. So like I said, if you're using a proper Ankara and you have this length of 40, it's not going to be enough. You're definitely going to add to it, right? You're going to add to the measurement. Okay, this is 14. So here, as an example, we're using 14 inches. For everything. Remember how we came about 14 inches. So if you're using a normal anchor, you're going to cut and add to extend the line. So I'll have something like this, which I'm going to cut off. Remember, my circumference is included, but I'm not going to cut the circumference now. I'll cut this place out before cutting the circumference.
okay this is what we have this is just like cutting your 360 degree play in case you already know how to cut it okay but the difference is that we're going to we divided this by three inches of which we have not cut out we divided by three inches so once i get to this part i'm going to iron it to bring out a grease line okay i'll iron it properly and make sure i have a grease line so once i have the grease line okay i could just keep it like this and cut now this is appearing in four places one two three and four i'm going to cut out only one part like this and keep it aside then divide the remaining one i hope this is understood so i'll follow this line and cut out one part cut out the other part just one piece of it just one don't cut everything together just raise one out up like this and cut following the grease line So we've removed one what is remaining here is three piece okay which is why we divided into three so we're now going to measure our 6.6 inches and cut it out i'm going to place it this way like i said before this is just the easiest way of marking your play measurements so I'll place it this way to where i will have 6.6 .6 inches make sure that what is here to here and what is here to this other side are equal okay so i have it here and i'll mark it so i'll measure what i have from here to here which is around 4.3 i'll measure the term 4.3 round now this 4.3 if you divide 20 by 4.75 which is the other standard measurement for dividing your play for 270 degree you're going to have 4.5 or thereabouts so it's equally almost the same thing so once i have this i'm going to cut it out So this is what we have as our 270 degree play. This is what we have. It's fuller than 180, but not as full as 360 degree. I hope you learned something here. So for the other stylish play that is on top, I'm going to use this. And this is exactly what I used. Okay, so the one on top did not go round the play, even though it went far but not um, round it because of the fabric was not enough of course i used the whole of six yards but then it was not enough to go around and because of the sleep too so i'm going to cut depending on what i can get as the highest point there's actually no measurement i'm just going to cut Okay, as far as it can go, it's fine. Now, at the front part of it, I'm going to raise it up by how many inches that you want it to go up from here. Now, the other part should be longer than this. So, I'm going to slant my hand this way. I'm going to slant my hand to the end. You can use a curve. This is a pongy lining and that's why it's not staying at the place. So you can use a curve to help you get it. I'm just drawing this to show us so I can just use my scissors to cut it.
Okay, so this is what we have. You can see the way it is. And it's going to be placed from the center point of this to this other part. Now it's going to be pleated a little so that it doesn't just stay flat. If you put it exactly the way it is like this, it might not um, be okay. It might just relax so well on this. And we don't want it to relax so well on this. So as you're going to join it, you pleat it a little. You pleat it a little to give it a fuller effect. But in that case, it's not going to go so far around the other plate. Okay, so why turning this? It was just the lining alone, no crinoline for this one. But when turning this lower part of this, there's a crinoline to give it a structure, to give it a standing effect. Okay, so once you pleat, you join to this one and turn with your lining. Of course, you're going to turn this with lining separate, turn this with lining separate, and put the two of them together and we're going to be joining it to the knee part of our dress. So I hope you've learned something from this illustration and hope to see you in the next class. Thank you for watching, bye.